We're back, people, and today we're breaking on film on Broderick Jones, Pittsburgh Steelers, right tackle, rookie. He was the first round pick, and I feel like he was a huge part in this game and how they dominated up front, had a really successful running game because Warren and Harris both had big yardage. He was a big part of that success. I think, you know, in pass protection, he can still do use a little bit of work in certain situations, but you can see that potential and why he was worth that first round pick right away on the film uh when he's run blocking here you can just see him on the move he gets out of his stance so fast i mean he might even move a tiny bit early but he times the snap very well and you could just see the athleticism and explosiveness to get out here and kick this linebacker out through the hole would like to see him maybe stay on his feet here but he does his job perfectly getting there to the point of attack readjust your angle to get up in this hole get low with your leverage take this guy on and now you are able to create displacement and then get your hips exactly where you want so your running back can shoot through this hole this is a very good rep he stays under control the whole time and then you know he ends up getting tossed here but he does his job to perfection to help warren get a nice gain where he's getting you know double digit yardage he had a big part on basically all of those big runs here to see jones play side on on this time just kicking out really just winning at the point of attack. I mean, this guy's just a force defender trying to set the edge, but I do like the technique uh, work here from Jones. You can just see him be under control, and like this is really good bend and extension right here. He's got a wide base. He's bending at the knees, and now he like extends his hips to get across, so if his running back decides to hit through this hole, he has this guy kicked out without letting him constrict too far down because he has control of the outside which is his job but he wants to constrict jones down and he just does a good job here with his lean and now he's just in complete control use that left hand extend it get your hips across just create that torque turn him exactly where you want and you can just see the power at the point of attack good hand placement kicks that guy out for quite some time some pretty good players that he was going against on the packers and he had a lot of success in the running game uh, in many different situations whether you know he's pulling just blocking play side or he needed to climb to the second level it was all looking very nice for the rookie some veteran savvy here from broderick jones on this play action just pulling out uh, throwing down in the flat to the tight end you can watch how he does this this is called a snatch and trap technique a lot of veterans do this with their movements here and usually you do this when a defender gets really low because you know it's a leverage game pad level game you want to have that low leverage but this guy gets low and a little overextended so you catch them off balance by swiping your hands down on their hands and it gets them to just fall forward on their face like this and now you're just on top of him won that rep really really nicely that's just savvy veteran use of your hands you have all these different you know uh things that you have in your arsenal different hand techniques usage how to use your hands things like that and jones is showing that he has some things there to work with and usually rookies are pretty basic and just go with exactly uh the same move pretty much every time but jones has uh different things to throw at a defensive tackle keep that or defensive end or defensive tackle to keep them off guard and that's a bigger guy too because that guy was playing as more of a as like a three technique right here usually he's facing edge defenders like this but he goes against the three technique puts him on the ground with that snatch and trap here to see him work in pass protection again and this is a pretty good job versus the stunt work here like nice to see him at least recognize it pretty quickly but even though it feels like this guy kind of catches him off guard just going straight into him because he has this drag hand out the left hand out have it out as your drag hand to help to the inside he sees this guy stunt around so he just gets control and i like the power and anchor here this guy's got that low leverage a little bit off balance falls to his knee and Jones just is a complete control of the situation the whole time. Sustains this good hand usage. He gets low with the guy when he goes to his the knees there. Definitely sh showing some promise in pass protection. There are some times where I feel like he looked a little uncomfortable. But overall, I do like uh, all around what he's shown, especially in the running game. Then the next play is a touchdown run. They get There was a defensive holding. Climbed to the second level. Cut off the linebacker. Hold on to it long enough. Jalen Warren splits the DBs, scores a touchdown. Jalen Warren's an absolute stud. He's so good. But he's going to, you know, get down here. Look like he's going to combo help on the defensive lineman. But he kind of takes himself out of the way because he's working back into that gap. So he gets out that hand and then get to the next level. Cut this guy off. And he could have taken, I think, a little bit of better angle. You kind of want, you don't want to, this linebacker to get your his hat across your hat. You want to keep your hat across his to cut him off. But even though this guy gets across his face, you can just see the power in the one hand and hitting him on the side that he's able to push him back just enough and hold on to this block just enough, sustain it long enough. And then once he gets out of the side of the frame, let go of it, don't get a hold. And now this linebacker isn't able to get there to Warren and Warren splits the two DBs. 
does his job here broderick jones being a dominating force and like to see him doing these plays on like all different types of running concepts broderick jones pulling again he gets out of his stance very fast like some of these are probably pretty questionable sometimes but i feel like the timing's really good of it like you can see him prepare peek back at the qb ready to time this up and we'll watch this boom he's already ready to move kick his guy out it looks like he's the guy actually does a pretty good job this uh linebacker squeezing and constricting down and he has to read this guy adjust your angle take more of an inside slow this down and then drop your pads into him the guy's there to possibly make a play and you're still driving him back love the finish love the nastiness uh one of the other offensive linemen gets called for a hold but he does a great job like to see this out of him moving out in space feeling comfortable and then a lot of times you know when they drop a shoulder like this into someone at this speed they either can a lot of times offensive linemen whiff or when they hit him like this they don't sustain it like it just bounce like they'll push the guy back but it's hard to like hit him this hard and then sustain and drive him down to his feet and if there wasn't that offensive holding it would have been a nice like five six yard gain we saw him work the snatch and trap earlier in the game he does it again this time on a run he did on the like in some pass protection play action type stuff he does it again against like a guy who's like a you know three tech four i type of player and he just does an excellent job this is savvy veteran work on the backside i love this doing this type of play on the backside of an outside zone run when it's a three tech like this because this guy you either want to reach him, you know, it's kind of tough sometimes because he has that natural inside leverage that you're trying to reach and get your hat across. But when you're not able to, use that snatch and trap, get him to the ground like that. Look how easy that was of a rep. Great hand usage. Love that out of him. His run blocking tape is really, really impressive in this game. And you can see why they selected him so high in the draft. Last play that we're going to break down here for Jones. This was one of his only like real one-on-one -on -one true pass rush like pass pro pass rush verse set didn't get a ton of these either had like some chip help they were working some twists and stunts but here he gets to go one-on-one -on -one with one of their best players and it's a you know decent rep wasn't perfect but i do like his ability to widen him there not getting beat to the edge this was towards the end of the game too on that picket scramble where he picks up the first down and then they run the ball out and then give the packers the ball back for like a minute left or whatever it was but just get out of stance looks very comfortable athletic a lot of space to work with here for this edge defender so this is you know showing a lot of trust in your rookie get your hands out um pretty good technique wise like hand placement's pretty good probably bending too much at the waist which i don't like but the base ends up being pretty good active with his feet like he's got his feet tied with his hands and then you're just widening this guy he's you see that he's trying to win around the edge keep widening keep widening and then it gives this big lane for pickett to run through so overall think he could use some work in pass protection but it's not that bad and then his run like the run blocking is truly superb and i love that savvy veteran love the snatch and trap technique that he's working out there love how he's looking on poles climbing to the second level showing some nastiness and finishes to his game i think the steelers got a good one so if you guys in the video make sure to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys next time peace